What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and we're here on week uh, four, I believe that this is, for the Indigo League of Legends. My opponent this week was Lance and, uh, you know, in this battle he just had a lot of good Pokemon that he got from the draft so I just tried to bring something to kind of be able to take on one or two of each of his Pokemon. Uh, I, my win conditions really were, uh, if I could get a Belly Drum off with the Zoom rule, I knew I could take out several of his Pokemon, leaving him weakened enough to the point where something else could come in and clean up. Um, I decided to go with Zapdos with Tailwind. That way, uh, if I needed to, I could have some of my slower Pokemon outspeed and hit some things. Right at the start of the battle, of course, I did not want to go for an Electro-type Volt Switch. Uh, or even a Thunderbolt or a Thunder Wave. I didn't want to go for any of my electric moves because I knew he could just switch out into Manectric. And that ends up paying off huge because he switches out into Manectric and he takes a lot of damage from the Heat Wave because it's this offensive Zapdos with Modest Nature, not the defensive one with the Bold Nature. Now that being said, he is able to Volt Switch and get his own priority. He brings in Victini and as soon as I saw Victini, I kind of figured that it was Scarfed. Uh, I just went for Heat Wave again in case he decided to go out into Ferrothorn. Because uh, Ferrothorn could switch into the Thunderbolt pretty easily. If In case he thought I was going to switch up moves there or anything like that. But I decided to let Zapdos go down here because I knew I could bring in my Azumarill immediately after. Banking on the idea that he was Scarfed. If he was Scarfed, fantastic. I can set up a Belly Drum. If not, I at least threaten him out and I can hit something else on his team. Um with a powerful move. If he stayed in and went for Fusion Bolt, he had a chance to KO me, but it wasn't a foolproof chance. So I felt okay taking that risk early on in the battle. Now he brings in Ferrothorn here, and fortunately I put Knockoff onto my Azumarill right before the battle. Uh, I did not do my HP EVs correctly. As you see there, it takes the Iron Barb's damage to actually uh, initiate the Citrus Berry at 50% HP. But since I did bring knock off onto a zoom roll. Ferrothorn is not going to be able to stop me. And now we're in a situation where I have a plus six Aqua Jet for all of his other Pokemon. So he's basically going to be bringing him in that trick to whittle down my attack stat and switching in things to resist it. So first he brings it in, then he switches up to Kingdor expecting the Aqua Jet. Um, and of course he can't take an Aqua Jet because he took that heat wave damage earlier from Zapdos. So I didn't really, I if he stayed in and went for the water or dragon type move with, um, his Kingdra, I didn't really care with the Zoom Rail. Uh, so that's why I just stayed in and went for knockoff. Of course, Gliscar does manage to take a knockoff, but it can't take the follow up of the Aqua Jet. I'm at plus five. Now I'm at plus four. Um, he's intimidated me twice. Uh, a Zoom Rail is still pretty threatening for his team with essentially two Swords Dances up. And I think he really should have continued on with that strategy of switching it in and out because at plus four, I'm still going to be able to, of course, KO Victini. Um, and to a lesser extent, I have a chance of KOing Crobat. So I'm able to finish off Victini there. Uh, he, I, at this point, there's just not much that he's going to be able to do. Um, if he had switched Minetri in a few more times, he could have at least forced me out. Because um, right there we see Surf doing a pretty good amount of damage, but not enough to KO as I'm able to finish him off with a play rough. I get a useless critical hit there. Uh, I guess... He also could have gone out into Crobat, which after um, three attack drops, I would not have been able to KO with an Aqua Jet. As you see that two attack drops wasn't able to KO. I mean, he could have cross poisoned me a lot earlier as well. But of course, there's no way for him to know that without calcing it or something like that. And he didn't necessarily know my spread either. So at this point, Mamoswine is going to be able to pick off Crobat with an Ice Shard and also secure um, pretty good damage on uh, any of his other Pokemon that he had on his team, just with Ice for Gliscor, Ice for Crobat, Ice for Kingdra, and then Ground for the other three. Mamoswine was a good pick for that battle, but I hope you all enjoyed that. That was really just a, a, a straightforward match because I happened to set up at just the right time. So um, I think that was Lance's first loss in the league, I believe, so he's definitely no slouch. But we'll look forward to my next battle for the week uh, five, which is against Kushi. So guys, I will see you later, and bye-bye.